After a 2,000 mile journey from their native El Salvador, this mother and daughter have found refuge at Casa Alitas in Tucson. After being dropped off by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Ana Lando, a local EMT and Casa Alita's medical volunteer, runs a strep throat test on the 11-year-old girl. We are here and we're giving them medical care because they deserve it and they have, you know, this isn't um, something that we're, we, you know, we, we're testing them in any way. It's just to make sure that they have the medical care, to make sure that they are healthy and happy and can continue on their journeys. However, not all of the migrants crossing are treated by humanitarian aid groups. Whether detained immigrants are seeking asylum or not, many of them need medical care, something Border Patrol initially provides to a degree. If it's determined that they need to go to a hospital, we'll contact the local ambulance company uh, if, if it dictates so, and that individual will be, trans will be transported to the local hospital still in Border Patrol custody. Border Patrol says with the increase in migrants crossing, they now have to spend more time and money transporting migrants to medical facilities. If it's in the field and the agent identifies an, an immediate medical need, that EMT will be deployed to that location, uh, either by driving there or if it's if it needs to be expedited sometimes we have air assets available that can, that can land pick up that agent wherever he is and bring him to that scene uh, to provide that medical care in the past three months cbp has spent more than four million dollars in salary expenses so their agents can transport and watch detainees while in the hospital but that's only a fraction of the cost cbp is projecting an almost 12 million dollar price tag by september of this year for nonprofits like casa alitas most of their medicines resources and vaccines are donated we've been really fortunate in a diver uh, diverse ways about medications and resources of that nature you know, the public health department, Pima, has given us about 500 flu vaccinations initially. There is a sense of safety and security, which many of these people have not had in a long, long time. And to be able to, to in any way, provide that is an amazing experience. Toda la botella. Toda la botella, okay? Okay, thank you.